Hello, kings and queens of first grade. It's me, Miss Seb, and we're going to do another video today this week on adding three numbers. But this time, we're going to use something special. We're going to use a number bond. So, let's go ahead and get started. In this video, you won't be able to see me because I need you to be able to see the entire screen. So, I need you to just use, listen to my voice and follow along with me. Dear scholars, you will need these materials to learn with Lola today. You're going to need a whiteboard, a dry erase marker, and an eraser. Again, you may always use just a pencil and a piece of paper. You're also going to need a three add in number bond. So, Ms. Seb has attached a number bond mat to this assignment on the Google Classroom. So, if you can, you may print out a copy so that you will be able to use it. You may also be able to just simply draw the three add in number bond mat on a piece of paper so that you could be able to do the problems along with me. So remember Lola, today she is going to learn how to add three numbers together using a number bond mat. So today you and I are going to, along with Lola, learn how to add three numbers together using a number bond mat. Can you say hello? She says, hello, nice to see you again. So again, friends, this is a number bond mat. Lola is going to add three numbers together. Write these numbers on your number bonds mat. So two, three, and five. Write the equation on your whiteboard and follow along. Two plus three plus five equals what? First, you're going to add 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Next, you're going to add 5 plus 5, which will give you 10. So your whole is 10. So you first add the first part, the second part, Find that total and add it to the third part. Now it's your turn. Erase your whiteboard. Write the equation on your whiteboard and find the sum. 3 plus 1 plus 4 equals what? What sum are we going to get? 8. So 8 is your whole. You add the first part plus the second part, find that sum, and add it to the third part. Show a partner how you solve the equation. Did you solve it the same way, or did you solve it differently than a partner? Let's try another one. Erase your whiteboard. So write this number problem on your number bonds mat. Write the equation on your whiteboard and find the sum. 4 plus 2 plus 4 equals what? Now first grade friends, what I need you to do is stop the video, solve the equation, and then come back to see if you got the right answer. All right, friends, you should have gotten the number 10. The answer is 10. Your whole is 10. Show a partner how you solve the problem. Did you solve it the same way, or did you solve it differently than your partner? And by partner, you can also show a grown-up. Let's try another one. Erase your whiteboard. Here's the problem. Copy it down on your number bonds mat. Write the equation on your whiteboard and find the sum. 6 plus 2 plus 1 equals what? What is the sum? Remember, first grade friends, pause your video here so that you can solve your problem. All right, friends, let's figure out that answer. The answer is 9. Your whole is 9. Ms. Sab solved it by doing 6 plus 2 
which is going to give me a sum of 8. I need to add it to my other part, which is 1. So 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Show a partner how you solve the equation. Did you solve it the same way or did you solve it differently than your partner? And remember, your partner can be a grown-up near you. Terrific! Now you are ready to try some more 3D add-in problems with your teacher. Alright, Lola is going to solve a missing add-in problem. Now this is a little bit more challenging. Miss Sab knew that those first grade friends were able to handle it. So let's figure out what that missing number is going to be. Write the equation on your whiteboard and follow along with me while we solve this one together. When one of the three add-ins is missing, just start with the two that are there. So what two numbers are there? I see a four and a two. So first, we're going to add four plus two. What is four plus two? Four plus two is equal to six. So now I need to bring down the rest to figure out what the missing add-in is. 6 plus what number is going to give me 12? 6 plus what number is going to equal 12? 6 plus 6 equals 12. 6 plus 6 is a doubles fact. Let's try another one. Erase your equation. Can you help Lola solve this equation? So first, I notice that I have a 1 and a 5 in my problem. So I need to add those numbers together first. 1 plus 5 equals 6. Next, I need to bring down the rest of the equation. So what number plus 6 is going to give me 9? What number plus 6 equals 9? So I'll give you a few seconds to think about that. Remember, pause the video now, solve it, and then press play when you're ready. Good job, friends. I sure hope that you were able to put 3. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. You are doing great. Let's try another one. Erase your equation. Can you help Lola solve this equation? 3 plus what number plus 5 is equal to 10? So first, friends, we have to add 3 plus 5 because those are the numbers we have in the equation. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So we have to bring down the rest because we don't know that one yet. So 8 plus what number equals 10? 8 plus what number equals 10? Remember, first grade friends, pause your video so that you are able to solve this equation. This one is one of our make a 10 facts. So 8 plus what number gets you to 10? 2. I am so proud of you first grade friends. Now it's time for your exit ticket. Copy down this number bond and fill in the missing number and show your teacher by submitting a picture on Google Classroom. So pause the video here so that you are able to copy down the number bond, fill in the missing number at the top, and show your teacher by submitting a picture on Google Classroom. Great job, first grade friends. You should now know how to add three numbers together using a number bond. How do we do that? We add all of the three parts together in order to equal the whole. Thank you so much, first grade friends. Do not forget to submit your exit ticket. Thank you for learning with me.